let's find this integral using the definition. First, we're gonna need the definition. We're also gonna need the summation formulas. And then finally, we've gotta figure out what delta x and x sub i star are for our problem. I've got the integral from two to seven of x squared plus x. That means that b is equal to seven and a is equal to two. So I take that interval width and I divide it into n rectangles. So seven minus two is going to be five. So delta x is five divided by n. For x sub i star, that's gonna be the sample point where we find the function value. We're gonna go ahead and start at the beginning of our interval. So a is equal to two plus i times our delta x's. So i times five over n. This gives us two plus, if I simplify it a little bit, five i over n. We are ready to set up our integral as the definition. So we've got the integral two to seven, of x squared plus x dx equal to, just copying that definition, the limit as n goes to infinity, the sum as i runs from one to n of f of, I'm gonna put x sub i in here, x sub i is two plus five i over n, and then I'm gonna multiply that by delta x, delta x is five over n. N. Let's continue simplifying this by putting our function value in. I'm going to move this up so I've got plenty of room here. So here's what we've got. The limit's going to just tag along. Same with that summation. So the limit as n approaches infinity. And then I've got my summation as i runs from 1 to n. Let's go ahead and put our function here. Our function is our x value squared plus x. And on the outside, I've got that five over n, five over n. Now I want that x value, and my x value is two plus five i over n. Let me get that in there, five i over n, two plus five i over n. The first thing that I want to do though is to move this 5 over n out of the summation. It's a constant multiplier and it doesn't depend on i, so I can factor this all the way outside of the summation but still inside that limit since it's got an n with it. So this becomes the limit as n approaches infinity, the five over n is gonna come out in front of the summation. I'm just factoring that out. My summation stays, i goes from one to n. Inside that summation, I need to square the two plus five i over n. Technically, I am doing FOIL. So you can double check my work here by FOILing two plus five i over n times itself. I end up with four. My outer is gonna be two times five i over n, that's 10 i over n. My inner is also gonna be a 10 i over n, so that's gonna give me 20 i over n. And then multiplying those last two together gives me 25 i squared over n squared. That takes care of that quantity squared, and then I've got the two plus five i over n on the end two plus five i over n. Before I apply that summation, I've got some like terms that I can combine. So I've got the limit as n approaches infinity. That five n is gonna stay on the outside until I'm done applying my summation. But I first wanna collect some like terms. I've got the four and the two, I can collect those and that gives me a six. And then I've got some terms that include an i over n. I've got the 20 i over n and the five i over n. So plus 25, adding those together over n. And then finally, the 25 i squared over n squared. Next, we can distribute that summation through. Let's bring this all the way up so we've got a lot more room. And I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that summation through. I can leave the limit on the outside, n goes to infinity. If you're lazy like I am or efficient, you can just drop the limit altogether until you're done with your summation. But I wanted to have all of this in here so you guys can follow along. 
Now I'm going to distribute that um, summation. So I'm going to add up all of the sixes, add up all of the 25 i's over n, and then add up all of those last terms. My goal is to get to one of these summation formulas, and that's where I'm going to be able to simplify. So I'm going to distribute that summation onto the six. So that's adding all those sixes together, regrouping, plus I'm going to distribute that summation onto the 25i over n. So i goes from 1 to n. This is 25i over n. And then finally, onto that last term. So I'm really just regrouping here. And that's going to be the sum as i goes from 1 to n of 25i squared over n squared. And I'll put a square bracket there. Now I know that I am going for one of those formulas. And I actually have one of them already. I've got the sum of a constant. And I know that the sum of this constant from 1 to n is going to be 6 plus 6 plus 6 n times. So it's the constant times n. When I move into the second one, what I want to do is to factor out this 25 over n. It's a multiplier that does not depend on i. So I can write the second one as um, 25 over n goes out in front. I almost didn't leave enough room i goes from 1 to n, and then I have just the i on the inside. And then finally, that last one, I can go ahead and factor out this 25 over n squared. So 25 over n squared. And I've got the, the summation there of i squared. Now, yes, this is all in a square bracket, and I've got my limit out in front. I'm just going to not worry about that here for a minute. Now, as I'm simplifying, I can apply my formula, the sum of i's, leaving the 25 over n as a multiplier. And I'm also going to apply my formula here for the sum of i squared. Let's rewrite what we've got. I'm going to just drop that limit here for a minute. I have the 6n plus, I'm going to leave that 25 over n, and let's go ahead and write the formula here in blue. Now I'm going to use the expanded form, so that's going to be n squared over 2 plus n over 2. That replaces the sum of the i's. Uh, then I've got my plus 25 over n squared. And I'm going to go ahead and replace the sum of the i squareds using its expanded formula, which is n cubed over 3 plus n squared over 2 plus n over 6. Okay, and this is all in my square bracket. Now I want to simplify this as much as I can before I take the limit because it will clean up quite a bit for us. But let's go ahead and bring the limit back in. So I've got the limit as n goes to infinity. I'm going to be multiplying that 5 over n through. I don't want to forget about that. But what I really need to do next is to expand by multiplying through those 25 over n and n squared. I've got a 6n here. Let's go ahead and distribute. So that's going to be 25 over n times n squared over 2. Distribute onto the next term. So 25 over n. Um, times n over 2 plus, and now let's distribute the 25 over n squared. So 25 over n squared times n cubed over 3. On to the next one. I'm going to write that down here. Uh, 25 over n squared times n squared over 2 plus, and then the last one, 25 over n squared times n over 6. Let's simplify what we can. There's a lot of things here that we can simplify. So I still have that limit out in front. So the limit, as n goes to infinity, we're going to apply that limit last. I'm going to distribute the 5 over n here really soon. I really have some cleaning up to do though. I've got a 6n there. Let's go ahead and cancel what we can. I can cancel an n with one of those n's there, and that's going to leave me with a 25n over 2. I can cancel two n's there in the next term. That's going to leave me with 25 over 2. I can cancel n squared with one of those n's, leaving me with a 25n um, over 3. 
Moving down to the next row, I can cancel these n squared. So there's a 25 over two. And then finally, I can cancel this n with one of these n's and I get 25 over six n. Let's collect some like terms. I'm gonna clean up just a teeny tiny bit before I distribute this five over n through. And really the only cleaning up I'm gonna do is to combine this 25 over two plus the 25 over two. Those added together are 50 over two. So that's gonna give us a plus 50 over two is 25. So I've got a plus 25 there. Let's distribute that five over n. Of course, you can combine more terms here if you want, but we would need common denominators and it's too easy to take the limit as n goes to infinity with a lot of these terms. So I'm distributing now this five over n. So I get five over n times six n, those are gonna cancel, plus I've got five over n times 25 n over two, those n's cancel, plus five over n times 25 n over three, cancel those n's, plus 25 over six n, I'm gonna write the five over n last, there we go, times five over n, plus, last but not least, five over n times the 25, just enough room. Let's see, I can cancel, I don't think I can cancel anything else. I've got the limit, I am just about done, you guys. The limit is n goes to infinity of 30, plus, this is gonna be 125 over two, 125 over two, this is gonna be 125 over three, plus 125 over three, plus 125 over six n squared, that's this one, plus 125 over n. Let's apply that limit finally as n goes to infinity. Well, as n goes to infinity, 30, and the 125 over two and the 125 over three do not depend on n. So these just come out as is. So I get this, this, and this. Okay, so those are those. I do have an n in the last two terms. If I put infinity in here, I get 125 divided by six times infinity squared. 125 over infinity goes to zero. The next one is also 125 over infinity. That goes to zero as well. So I am left with this sum. If I add that up in my calculator, I get uh, 805 over six, also known as the answer, which is 134 and one sixth. Do take a look at my next video. It's gonna show you how to find integrals using a much, much, much faster and easier method. You guys got this. Thank you so much for watching.